Welcome back to another video, Soil here, and today I want to discuss an amazing indicator on TradingView that helps you to set your stop loss like professionals. If you're familiar with ATR, Average True Range Indicator, so you know that it's a volatility indicator, which is more commonly used for setting stop loss, especially trailing stop loss. By considering ATR in setting stop loss, traders make sure that volatility is also considered in their stop losses so they can adapt to unusual price movement in the market, including any gaps. The method that they use to set stop loss based on ATR is like this. When a candle is closed, they read the ATR value and then multiply it for example in 1.5 and then it's subtracted from high of the candle. The result is stop loss or new stop loss if we are moving the stop loss. So in long position setups, the stop loss is placed 1.5 ATR before the highest price and in short position setups, the stop loss is placed 1.5 ATR before the lowest price. And now there is an indicator that automatically calculates the stop loss levels for you so you can easily set and move your stop loss orders for adding this amazing indicator to our chart here we click on indicators and we search interactive ATR stop loss this one which is an editor specs indicator and it's written by someone named Tan Hef. When we click on it, it gives us a message here. Click location to begin ATR trailing stop loss below price for long stop and above price for short stop. So consider we have entered a long position here after this pullback and now we want to set a stop loss. Please pay attention that some traders prefer to set initial stop loss based on previous swing low or swing high or support and resistance levels. For example, below the swing low or this uh, support level below the support level for example and other traders may use ATR even for the initial stop loss so this depends on traders preferences all right as I said consider we opened a long position here so because it's a long position we click somewhere below the price and as you can see the indicator calculates the stop loss levels based on ATR and shows them on the price chart like this. After each candle is closed and if we have a shift in the line then we move our stop loss to this level and we continue like this until our stop loss is hit or on the other hand our profit target is hit. This indicator also shows when the stop loss is hit or we can even set profit target for this indicator. Let me close this one and set another one in another location so I can show you how exactly it is. Consider we entered a long position here so we click somewhere below the price and these were the stop loss levels that we could use for trailing stop loss. After each candle was closed we could just move our stop loss if there was a shift in the stop loss level. Here you can see that the price hit the stop loss level and the indicator stopped drawing the line and also showing this indicating that the price hit the stop loss level. We can also set profit target here in the settings. Here in this box we set our profit target for example 1.096 and by clicking on display it will be shown on the charts like this. This is the profit target that we set and at this point the price hit our profit target. So we get this sign indicating that our profit target is already hit. In practice many traders who use trailing stop loss they just continue moving their stop loss until the price hit their stop loss levels. But in case when the price hits your desired target so you can close your position and this feature will be useful for you to know when the market is in your desired target. Another point that I must mention here is that in case that if uh, you need to move your starting point you can simply click on the circle and place it at another location and the indicator will recalculate the levels for you and please pay attention that by default the multiplier is set at 1.5 and if you remember when I was explaining the method of setting stop loss based on ATR I also mentioned 1.5 this multiplier is usually a number between 1.5 and 3 depending on your risk management strategy and also the more important factor volatility of the market that you're trading. For example when you're trading in crypto market you may need to give more room to the price action and your stop loss must be further away from your trade entry. So you must choose larger multipliers or for example for some less volatile assets like some stocks you can choose smaller multipliers for the ATR. So depending on the volatility of the market that you're trading you can choose a multiplier between 1.5 to 3. 1.5 is more commonly used and it usually gives the expected 
expected result, but you can test lower or higher multipliers to see how it performs on the asset you're trading. ATR is a great tool for measuring volatility of the market, but as I said, it's more commonly used for setting trailing stop losses. And with this indicator, which automatically calculates everything for you, you can easily set and move your stop losses based on ATR calculation. All right, that's it. Thank you for watching this video. If you have any questions, feel free to ask and leave a comment for me. I'll answer your questions as soon as possible. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, please subscribe and hit the bell so you get the notifications of my new video. See you guys in next video and good luck with your trading.